What's up YouTube, it's Organic Gaming. We're back to you with a new gold guide for the day. Before we start, I would like to remind you about the two World of Warcraft tokens giveaway happening on the 31st of July. In order to enter the draw, you have to click subscribe and leave a comment under this video mentioning that you subscribed. After that, you will be eligible for the giveaway. Now back to our gold guide, I would like to remind you also that all my guides are purely based on gold farming and material selling. Nothing is related to pure RNG like farming a pet that has 0.1% drop chance. My gold making techniques will definitely reward you with enough gold depending on your server prices. So let's get into it. Our gold guide for today is to farm the volatile air. The reason we will be farming this is because it's selling for 49 gold on my server. But just to let you know, I'm on the Rainer server on EU. Most of the servers, populated servers, they have a bit low prices because of competition, but servers with low population, they have really higher prices, so you can make much more from this. So let's get into it. Why do we need to farm this volatile air? The reason is that people create Tomb of Illusions, and Tomb of Illusions, they need 5 volatile air in order to create them. Those tombs give you weapon appearance to, to enchant your weapon and give it better look, like this one. So, in order to go, first, you have to go take the portal here, we have to go to Cataclysm base expansion. We are on our way to the portal. We will have to go to an old dungeon. And here we are. Make sure to take the portal to Uldum. Once you are there, we need to go to the Vortex Pinnacle. Every day I usually manage to farm maybe 300 or 400 of this out maybe in one hour. The dungeon is located over here. Just a reminder, make sure you click on your portrait, go to dungeon difficulty and set it to heroic. If you put it on normal, you will get much less loot. Also guys, this spot is quite known, however, people tend to forget about this spot because they are all everyone is interested in the new patch and farming new stuff in order to sell them. But sometimes the old stuff sells more than the new stuff, that's why we're going here. So keep going up. And the dungeon entrance is here. As a reminder, again, don't forget to put dungeon difficulty into heroic. So once you see the skull over here, which means it's heroic, make sure dungeons is reset and then go in. All we need to do is pull out all these ads over here and kill them at a certain point. If you want also, I can use the loot appraisal, which one is over here somewhere. Excuse me for that. We'll check it out in a second. Just pull every ad over here. By the way guys, you never take damage in this dungeon, you're very high level for it. You can do it at level 100 or 90 even. You don't need to be level 110. Once you arrive to here, just pull 
those last two ads. And now kill everything. time to do it let's see what we got so here it is guys in one run we managed to pull 1k of looted item value there's still one more but it's very slow here <laughs> We managed to loot 16 of Volatile Air. I had previously some Volatile Airs in my bag. So 16, minimum buyout for the 16 is 796 gold. And we also managed to loot in a blue item and a green item, which we can disenchant them. Just to let you know guys, I'm using the TSM add-on. If you'd like to know how to set up this TSM add-on, I have a guide over here. Just click on this link and you will be able to go see my god how to integrate this add-in into your world of, into your world of warcraft so we click destroy next and we got small heavy mv shard which is not really much forget about it we destroy this we got hypnotic dust we got two of them that we separated so those two hypnotic dust also are one second yeah so those two hypnotic dust are 60 gold so what we managed to do here guys, we managed to pull out 800 gold in one minute run. Now, what you need to do, make sure to do this now. Jump over here, and it will take you straight away back to the entrance of the dungeon. Here we go. Now all you need to do, is go out. Reset all instances. The Vortex Pinnacle has been reset. Go in. Just to let you know guys, you can combine this with the Potion of Treasure Finding. Potion of Treasure Finding is a potion that allows you to drop treasures from the mobs. So when you drop the treasure, you open the treasures, you have the chance to get inside either more Volatile Air, or Volatile Life, or some Volatile Water plus some ember, some ember seal clothes so those everything sells on the auction house and you will make a lot of more gold unluckily i didn't have this potion with me today i just forgot about it but you also can go buy it from the auction house or if you have an alchemist you can just craft it so i'll just leave you maybe with two or three runs to see how much we're gonna get from this and we'll come back later
So here we go guys, in 8 minutes I managed to pull out 3.5k, always it depends on how much drops you can get, sometimes you, get, you can get up to 5k or even more. Let me also disenchant those items. So in total I managed to pull out 3.5k in 3 runs only and in 9 minutes. Just a small reminder guys, if you do this 10 times in a row or maybe 9 times, I don't remember, you will get locked for a certain period of time for this instance. It will say that you have entered the instance too many times, wait a bit before you can enter another one. So what you can do over here, just take this out, take this character outside, click reset and leave him by the door. Now get your alt, get in here, keep farming this spot and come back. After 10 rounds of down that alt, you this one will already be like reset. So you have you can go again and then start farming again. And don't worry if you have the potion of luck activated already over here. It will not be removed because it's only will it only expires upon playing time. So if you log out, it will be staying like say it was 50 minutes, it will stay at 50 minutes available. So let's go to the auction house now. Either you can continue with the material in order to make the Tomb of Illusions, so you can sell them on, on, the, on the auction house, or you can sell them separately, and I'll do later a separate guide on how to farm the other materials for every tomb. I have a great spot for everything. If you like this new farming spot guys, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget about the giveaway we're doing on the 28th, 31st of July, which may each make you win maybe one of World of Warcraft tokens. It's gonna be either on EU or US, and it will be given to you in gold. Until then, have a good day.